What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be taking a look at an interesting little title that actually it's funny because I thought of this a couple years ago too. It's a tattoo that I have. It's a game called Tactical Breach Wizards. This is a game that imagines what if wizards were in a cyberpunk future, effectively like Shadowrun, but all of their weapons were fueled by like, if you look at our guy's M4 over here that he's rocking, he, he's got like a wizard staff sticking out of the end of it. And then if you look at the box magazine with the feed mechanism, it's feeding crystals into there that are powering this to fire lasers. He's got Comtax on, he's got his ears on, he's got a Kevlar wizard hat. And so anyways, this is an idea I had a long time ago, up to the point that it's a, a tattoo that I have, I've, that I got years and years and years ago of a wizard in a bullet vest leaning up against a brick hood wall and just like chilling while smoking on his pipe with a bunch of tattoos and whatnot all over him and like a, you know, a pistol on his belt. And so this is, this is an interesting idea where we're going to enter the wizarding world of Walther and, and see how it goes. The game has itself fancies as sort of like XCOM meets door kickers where you're breaching locations but using magic spells to throw people out of windows or take electrical conduits and make arc lightning come out of them and chain between everybody on top of also being an XCOM style cover shooter. Uh, tactical RPG and so I thought that was an interesting idea. We'll take a look at it here today We'll see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on if after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself I got a link for you down below in the description and then from there you can find links to my discord and my twitch stream Just in case you wanted to chat live or talk to me in person. Come say what's up WizTech, this is mage actual We're in position breach cliffs hot Zan you're up uh, let's go trauma control charms engaged Suppression aura online slow fall wards in place All right, what do you see in there? Foresight on three sprig acolyte softwood silence mag tens want me to leave you one. I Mean if you're losing your touch, I'll pick up your slack Breach Left you an easy one, Zan. Wow, patronizing. All right, so now that we're in here, three bolt burst, and we're going to fire it at the Mafia Sprig Santana. Out he goes from the window. Cool stuff. Make your way to the laptop. All right, let's get on the laptop. Oh, I got to interact with it from the front. I could probably do that. And then use laptop. There we go. And the door is now open. All right, what's behind door number two? Three more sprigs and Elder Shrub Lord with an M4. Is it clear to you why we're hitting a Druid Mafia shop in the first place? They've got a high value target, they've got guns, and they can do plenty of weird stuff. That's all I need to know. Sorry, dude, I can't swear anymore on, on YouTube. I always try not to do it anyways because we're family friendly around here. But I like the sanctity of like writing, so I prefer to do it as is out of respect for the writers. But at the end of the day, YouTube's bots, man, their, their standards and practice bots have just gotten crazy out here. I get demonetized, like, every time I drop a single bad word, and so I just gotta stay away from it. You don't care who we're extracting? Young adult male, I mean, that's all I need. What do you want, their dating profile? You can ask him if he likes long walks after we stop these shrubs from flaying him up with a barrel cactus. So you're not worried about the heat we're gonna drop if this goes south? Worried? I'm salivating. I'm consider messing this one up on purpose just to have an excuse to fight these guys properly. If they send their best guys, we could end a global crime empire overnight. Well, okay, I guess that's what I like to hear from a commanding officer. You knew who I was when you requested this assignment. Well, I guess we're not gonna find out in the doorway. Let's go. You're good for three of these guys? I'm good for four, but I'm gonna let you feel useful. Breach. Hit it. Aw, she dropped the one in the ghillie seat. You only got two. I'm letting you blossom. Okay, so we got to get to the laptop, and we got to deal with these guys. Do we have guaranteed hits? So that costs us one action. She took the only good cover, too, dude. Hurtful. Well, I feel like maybe we get into cover... Oh, I guess it wanted me, so I rerolled the turn. This game, you use time magic to rewind everything if you don't like your plays. I moved right there. It wanted me to move right here, but I'm doing the same thing that I was doing previously. We'll shoot that guy. Let's get down into cover. Oh, is he not going to shoot? I guess if I'm in cover and he can't see me, he's not going to bust shots at me. All right. Well, let's waste him. He's now down. 
Let's get this laptop. All right, doors open. Let's get out of here. All right, what's next? Two sprigs, great oak, and a ghillie suit. Great oak's wearing a ghillie suit? Yeah, he is. Isn't it already a tree? I mean, look, I just say what I see here. Let's get in there and kill it. Breach! That was a big guy. So she got two of them. All right. Move to the laptop. Moving to the laptop. We'll go ahead and use your laptop ability on the left and use it. If the team moves and shoots, you can freely rewind the 4C phase. The enemies attack. If none have valid plans, this gets skipped. You can't take further actions, but you can rewind. Enemy turn. Enemies move and make plans, but they don't attack yet, and you can no longer rewind. All right. Well, shoot them out of the window, dude. I would like there to be no hostiles inside of this room. Oh, we'll use the laptop real quick. I have no idea what's happening right there. I think a guy is probably going to come in. He wants me to attack here. So I guess I will. Can't take him. Can you dodge it? You're the one with the foresight. You tell me. Okay, apparently we've got like a 4C button. We'll rewind everybody back. Move close enough to the Shrub Lord that he's going to target you instead. All right, I'll take the hit. But you owe me a mending vial after this. Foresee the outcome. Ow, I got shooted. I mean, that's fine. Next room. What have we got? All right, Intel said this is where they've got the asset. You see him? Yeah, they've got him bound and gagged. I don't like this. I bet he's not a fan either. Want to actually extract him, or should we just sit around wringing our hands about it for another five years? Sorry if I wasted two seconds for seeing 80 different ways this hostage extraction could end with one or all of us dead. Well, if any of your melodramatic fantasies come true, you know your orders. The asset's priority. If you have to blink him out yourself, do it. All right, got it. You going to breach this year? All right, well, she got two of them, I guess. What the hell? I don't even know what that is. All right, let's foresee. Damn it, where did the thing take her? No! I mean, I can shoot that guy out of the window after the rewind, but I don't see any way this goes down without somebody getting greased. We're either going to lose our teammate or we're going to lose the asset. That's pretty much our only two outcomes here. That guy has a spider backpack. I'm really liking the character design in here, how they're mixing modern with sort of witchcraft and wizardry. They've got a good eye for sort of blending those two ideas together in how an advanced future with like freighters and laptops, but still wizards that need fetishes and things of that nature can make it work. So we can't save them both no matter what we do here. I was kind of to see if there was going to be like an extra interaction. So I'll save the asset. But that's about all I can do. All right, well, we got the hostage out, I guess. Kind of. So that guy's going to shoot the hostage. Move to the hostage and blink out of here. Vesker to WizTech, requesting immediate blink out. I have the asset. Something got Kennedy. So let me get this straight. A notorious druid mafia enforcer gets shot by a doctor, and the first person on the scene just happens to be the meddling witch that every cop loves to hate. Jen Kellen P.I. Yeah, that's me. Do you have a question? What is it going to take to get you to stop inserting yourself into every missing persons case that we have to investigate? I mean, you could try finding people. Well, I'm sorry if solid police work sometimes takes a little longer than your witch tricks, but we have procedures for a reason. I mean, it doesn't seem like every case gets the same procedures, though, does it? We're not getting into the Siegler case again, Kellen. We've said it all before. We really have. 
All right, so you hear a shot, you burst in with breaching glyphs, you find Wexler already dead. Describe the shooter. White-haired woman, good-looking, smartly dressed except for surgical gloves, and a gun. No, she put the gun down, and you went for it, even with all your spells and trinkets? Um, you know, it was more about her not having a gun, and what happened. Uh, I got to it first. She seemed to reevaluate her situation at that point and ran. Then, you guys showed up with the traffic warlock. He sighs. And what's your problem with Sergeant Clark? He made me kneel, though I'd already dropped the gun. He picked it up without gloves. He tracked mud all over the scene, and he put a two-week stasis curse on my car. It's going to cost me more to get that disenchanted than I got paid for the entire job. Well, lucky for you, we're backed up, and it's not worth the time to prosecute you for any of this. Prosecution? The next time you call us, stay put, stay out, and leave your wand at home. Well, did you get her? We have someone matching the description in custody. Yeah, can I talk to her? Can you talk to the prime suspect in a murder investigation? No, Kellen, you can't. You're a PI and a provisional one. Get out of here. Can you unhex my car, please? I'm not insured for temporal curses. You'll have to take that up with Craft and Arcana Control. Fine. You're welcome, by the way. Unbelievable. Hey, uh, did you know that the station's on fire? What?! You're too late to stop me! I don't even know who you are. Oh. Uh, you're not Zan Vesker, Navy Seer? No, my name's Jen. Is Zan here? I don't think so. I haven't seen him in years. Ugh. Well, prepare to burn. Oh. No, no, no thanks. Alright, so we need to defenestrate the pyromancer. Defenestrate verb number one to throw out of a window. Alright. I'm um, guessing I move over to here. And then we just, like, static blast. I'll go with that outcome. Oh, there's more guys? Zan, I was just talking about you. Jen, what are you doing here? Solving a murder, how about you? Being arrested for, uh, remind me? It's a list at this point. They think I'm part of the team that's raiding the station. I serve with Zan, guys. I'll vouch for him. Nobody cares. You remember what it means if I have to give the signal, right? One second on the clock, I remember. That's enough. On your knees. Now. Am I killing police officers, though? Like, I get that they're a little surly and they're, like, mad at me, but doesn't this kind of make me the bad guy? What can I do here? A chain bolt. Chain a bolt through multiple targets, knocking each of them in a different direction. That's actually pretty raw. Okay, well, let's chain bolt these guys. Boom. And then boom. I think that fall was probably fatal, though. It looks like we're on, like, the third or fourth floor. I'm not trying to split hairs here, but I think we're definitely going to do time, man. We just triple homicided cops. I don't even think we're going to make... Listen, I don't think they're going to put us in the back of the van zip-tied with no seatbelt on, and they're just going to take the longest, windiest route to wherever they're going to be holding us. I, I see blunt force trauma in our future. Whew, thanks. Sorry it came to that. One of those guys kind of had it coming. And the others? Uh, didn't know them, but I think they'll be fine. I put slow fall. Ah, yay! I put slow fall wards on the windows. All right, well, I guess that works. Let's get the laptop real fast. So the laptop is kind of like always the objective that you're going for in order to open the next door. All right. So, uh, how have you been? Uh, terrible, thanks. How about you? What have you been up to? Uh, the team uh, casting its way through the station right now is led by my former CO, Liv Kennedy. She might be the most dangerous person on the planet. I think she's trying to start a war, and it may be my fault. So, stopping that. Cool, cool. Do you get medical with that? No, it's becoming a, kind of an issue. Listen, these guys didn't like me much before I defenestrated two of their colleagues, so we should probably get out of this building in the next four minutes if we don't want to stay here for 25 to life. What are we going to see when we open this? One cop, body armor, nightstick. Enforcer. They're tough. I suggest we try to put them through a window. 
Did you know that you can't throw all of life's problems through a window, Jen? I mean, I do want to try throwing this problem through a window, though. Yeah, it may be the right call here. I'm going to have to come at him from the side to set you up. Take him when you've got the shot. You ready? Breach! All right, so I need to redeploy Xan. So we'll breach. Doors open. We've got him right there. We got a three bolt burst him to get him in front of the window. And then she's going to static blast him out of the window. There we go, dude. It's definitely got like an into the breach feeling with it. I, I think if you don't like into the breach style games, you probably will not enjoy this game either, where each little room is kind of like a puzzle for how you get out of it. Uh, let's use the laptop real quick to get us on out of here. Like, I'll be the first one to admit that I don't like Into the Breach one bit. I don't think the game's very fun. Because it's more of a puzzle game than a strategy game, in all honesty. It's kind of like playing Minesweeper. Uh, I prefer games that are a little bit more dynamic and have a lot more wild stuff going on. But it does have a really cool theme. All right, so what does your former CO have against Rushwater PD? I don't know. It was the fire guy I ran into earlier. He asked after you, by the way. Oh, really? That's nice of him. Uh, no, I don't know who that is. Right. Okay, so let's stick to Liv, then. What's her overall objective? I do not know. Who's she working for? Uh, reactor. Great. And what's their objective? I do not know. And how long have you been on this investigation? Three months? You need somebody with investigative skills. Someone whose career is in a temporary dry spell despite her obvious talent. Hey, I'm hiring right now if you're interested. Oh yeah, does it pay? Nothing, I'm broke. That's actually really competitive with what I'm earning right now. I'll take a look at your files. Yeah, files, right. San, I'll make some. Never mind, what's up next? Another enforcer, and bad news, we don't have any windows. Well, that rules out every strategy I know. See, it's not a comprehensive life plan, but don't worry, I think I've got this. I can set up a shot that'll knock him flat if he comes my way. Okay, and what do I do? Um, spectate? Alright, deal, breach. I like the pithy dialogue, too, actually. It's humorous. Like, I like that the game doesn't take itself seriously. Like, the game understands that it is flatly like a humorous idea of like wizards with machine guns and whatnot. So none of the characters are like dark and brooding and being like, my horrible past. Like everybody's just kind of like doing the Deadpool routine where they just like riff on whatever's happening. I don't know. Some people are tired of like the, the Deadpool style dialogue, rapid fire going back and forth, but I like it in this context. Okay, well we've got Predictive Bolt over here which appears to allow me to just set up an overwatch. I guess I'll put her right there just to like help out with the strategy. And then we'll foresee. Woof, you got lit up. Oh, there's another one, reinforcements. Ah, oh, we should have put a ward on the door. Okay, so that's a reinforcement door right there. Fair enough. We will probably want to put her, like, right there. Maybe move him up right there. Oh, he can't do it over cover. Interesting. Okay. And does that have to be? That can't be on a diagonal. Okay, so let me think about this for a second. I don't know exactly what the play is right here. But we're just going to, like, run it. He went around the other way, which is absolutely beautiful, but that's okay because I can just do that this way now and hold an overwatch. And then for her, I need her to get over there and seal that damn door. I'm okay with it. Mmm, little bit of a problem over here. But I can solve it. It's not that big of a deal. Let's ward this door real fast. There we go. Oh, cool, dude. They actually, like, conjured little magical boards that go over the door. I dig it. I probably took longer than it wanted me to take right there. I was probably supposed to, like, two-turn that, but, like, eh, hey, whatever, dude. There's no money on the table right now. What's the plan this time? I don't know. Improvise. Inspiring. Okay. Let's go ahead and breach. 
may actually be better to redeploy him over here. It's kind of hard to say. So that guy can't get to me just yet. He can get to me right there. What if, so if you breach and like get in there, do I have any realistic things that I can do? I can get him. Oh, he's got an overwatch? I didn't know he had an overwatch, dude. Hold up. Rewind that. No, that's what the yellow on the ground is. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, let's go back over here to Jen then. We'll static blast him instead so that he can get into the room. Neutralize him. I don't know which way that guy's going to go, though. I guess I'll just set up right there, and if he goes the other way, we'll deal with it. Well, he didn't make it right there, so that's good. Uh, chances are I can probably just do the same thing over here, right? Yeah, that works for me. I like how, so with the rewinds and with the foresight, I like how the foresight, you aren't watching the thing happen and then having to play out the turn and click a bunch of buttons. I like that the foresight can be finalized. That's really good streamlining right there to make the game feel fluid and fast. I dig it. All right, this is it. The way out? Ah, uh, it's on the way out. Wait, you haven't been leading us out of here this entire time? You haven't been following me, have you? I don't know where I'm going. I've been leading us to the one little thing I need to do before we leave. You know you're in a police station where both of us are resisting arrest while simultaneously being raided by a team of black ops wizards, one of whom can transcend time, right? Yes, but there's no sense rushing. So where are we headed? The office leads to the holding cells. There's somebody there that I need to talk to. You're working a case right now? Can we just do this, please? All right, but it's a mess in there. You ready? Uh, I was born ready. Breach? Breach. Yeah, this has the vibe of being a mess. I can see I can see that being problematic. Okay. Bunch of guys around. Reinforcement doors everywhere. If I can get Jen over to here and knock out the tracker. Ooh, I can redeploy. Hold on. I didn't realize I could come in through this door over here. I guess redeploy Jen over here. Also redeploy. Yeah, you go there. And then you redeploy over here, too, because we need to get into cover, and we need to seal that door faster than anything else would be my guess. All right, we'll breach here. Doors open. We are somewhat in cover. I'm going to have Zan move in, get behind cover. That didn't go the way that I wanted it to, but I think I can live with it. Go static blast right there. Sure, chuck all of our problems out a window. What's the worst thing that could happen? Uh, take cover so that they can't shoot. They're going to push up on us, though. I have the distinctive feeling that that's what's going to happen. It looks like we've got reinforcements coming in from that way. What's the difference with that door? What does that door do? Maybe we haven't gotten there yet. Yeah, let's finish it off. Let's go with a static blast right there. And then take cover. You step out there. Three-bolt burst isn't really going to help us against him unless we can get a different angle. But, I mean, let's just do damage. It'll be okay. Take cover as well. And the turn. We got another cop over there. Uh, this is a downside here, potentially, that we are going to have to deal with. I could do a chain bolt. I think we have one mana. Right, that solves that. And then predictive bolt over there. Those cops don't even seem to be moving. Got him and the turn. Last one files on in. I was hoping to seal this door, but we kind of got caught up in the weeds over here getting in a nonstop gun battle. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. Seal that door. 
get your manners back up. And then we gotta deal with these other two. I'm gonna go over here and just take cover. Zan, get over here. Give me a three shot burst on him with the bounce. There we go, good stuff. Get a static blast right there, and that should be our problems mostly solved. I dig it, dude. I like what they've got going on. Can I interact with any of these cool little objects around here? Is that an option? Hey, it's me again. I uh, don't know if you heard, but this station's currently being raided by a Spec Ops team, uh, one of whom can transcend time. Right, right, right. And a lot of it is on fire. If you tell me why you shot Wexler, I will get you out of here before even more of it is on fire. How? Uh, you know, Breach Glyph ought to do it. If not, two of them. And if I don't satisfy your curiosity, you're just gonna leave me here to die? Classy. Well, I mean, you, you know... Don't be so dramatic, you'll probably be fine. The hell just happened? I think you just met Liv Kennedy. I didn't love it. Is that guy reading a book inside his stasis bubble? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm a lot more interested in your case now. Who is Banks and why did the Spec Ops team, best Spec Ops team on the planet, just attack a police station to abduct her? Oh, now you're interested. More interested? I was already interested, but in like a sort of like what's up with you kind of way. Uh, Dessa Banks. I caught a glimpse of her at the police file. They have her pegged as a mob doc for the Druid Mafia. When I found her, she just shot her patient in the head with a 45. If she's not mob, she definitely missed a pivotal day in med school. So why would Liv Kennedy want her? Was she an especially good doctor? Uh, I guess it's possible she's a great doctor, and shooting her patient in the head before surgery was just kind of a power move. Your turn. Uh, who is Liv Kennedy? She was my commander in the Navy Special Forces. She's a chronomancer. She can move on a different time scale to the rest of us, and you're dead before you know she's coming for you. That seems kind of overpowered. I served with her for five years on some nightmare, and I think Liv may be the most dangerous single combatant on the planet. Everyone who saw her work said it sooner or later. I'm glad she's on our side. Uh, well, now she is not. Now she works for Reactor. They're private military, right? Who's hiring them? Private but huge, the ninth strongest military in the world, last I checked. If you'd asked me yesterday, I would have said that the DSR military by another name, but if they're sending Liv Kennedy to kill cops on DSR soil, something massive has changed, and I have no idea why. If she's gone off book, all we're looking at is a god-tier operative becoming a serial killer with an unknown agenda. And if not... If today was a reactor-authorized op, this would light the fuse for World War V. The whole geopolitical landscape of the Southern Hemisphere is going to lurch in ways I can't even predict. And I'm a seer. So what's the story with you and Liv? We ran an extraction on a Druid Mafia smuggling ship in 89. She got snared just as they were about to execute the hostage and I had to pick. I chose the hostage. For years I thought I'd got her killed, then six months ago she resurfaces pulling brutal heist for a PMC. I don't know what she's trying to achieve, but I know I failed her in 89. If there's some way I can talk her down from this, we've got to try. All right, we do need to make some files. I got a map. We can work with that. Ooh, we get perk points, eh? What's inside? Oh, they've all got their own little wizarding workstation, and it's, like, personalized. So, like, he's ex-military, so his has sandbags and, like, Excalibur and, like, a, a target dummy. Whereas, like, her, she's all about investigation, so she's got, like, books and reference materials and storage boxes. <laughs> What, what a great game, dude. What, how awesome is that, man? Uh, Alright, so it looks like I can get plus one damage. Or on Predictive Bolt, I can get... Oh, really? So if I kill somebody with the first shot, it resets up and takes a second shot. Or if the shot fires on your turn, gain plus one mana. Okay. The His three-bolt burst is not very good, and most of the enemies seem to have two HP or more. 
So I'm kind of leaning towards just giving him flat damage for right now. She's got point blank over here, plus two knockback if you use it at point blank range. And then down here with chain bolt, we can get plus one target, or we can get strong finish of more knockback to the final target. Plus one target's pretty sick, dude. And it looks like we've got different missions, and it looks like we've got... Oh, cool, dude! You've got, like, different digital flora and camo and stuff. You can customize your wizards and make them look... Oh, that's the outfit right there, dude. Okay, I'm feeling this right here. I'm feeling this. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. Today we were taking out Tactical Breach Wizards, which actually is pretty raw. Like, this is a pretty dope game, dude. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for hanging out, and that's about all I got for you.